In this video, we will integrate Parse SDK to our mobile application. And you will need to go to your um, dashboard at parse.com and then uh, choose application you want to work with. For example, I've created Panda. I will continue with this application. And then I need to go to Quick Start. Click on Quick Start. Quick Start. And then I want to choose Data, Mobile, iOS, Swift, existing project. The first step is to download and unzip SDK. I just did it a few minutes ago. It is uh, on my desktop. I'll show you. This is the parse library 1.7.4 at this time. So I will minimize it. The next step is to add SDK to our application. And we need to do it by dragging parse.framework and bolts.framework into our project folder. And uh, make sure the copy items to destinations group folder is checked. So let's do that. I'll go to my Xcode. I'll open my parse. And I will um, open left side panel with my project structure. And I want to choose two libraries, bolts and parse. And I want to drag them into my project folder. And I want to make sure that destination, copy items if needed, checkbox is checked. Okay, tap on finish. And the two libraries are here in my project. I'm going back to my browser. A next step three is uh, to add the dependencies. And we are suggested to go to targets, then application name, and then uh, build phases. And under build phases, we need to select link bi binary with libraries and add some libraries. This is the list of libraries that we need to add into our project. So uh, let's do that. I will um, open my Xcode, go to my project. Under targets, I will select targets and then go to build phases. And then uh, under link binary with libraries, I need to add a few libraries. And the first one is uh, audio box, audio toolbox. Please bear with me. I will quickly add this libraries to my project. And you can actually pause the video or fast forward it um, after you add your libraries. A few more. Okay, and if you're using the uh, object C linker tag required by some third party libraries, add this as well. Well, let's just add them. Okay, I think all libraries are added and um, one of the last steps, I guess, connect your application to Parse. So uh, we need to open up our application delegate Swift and um, update it to so. So first we need to import Parse and Bolts. So I'll go back to my project. Um, well, you know what, let me do, I'll select all of these libraries 
and I will right click on them and choose um, new group from selection and I will call it frameworks I'll just organize it a little bit into a, a folder okay so now I need to uh, choose application delegate and here I need to import parse and bolt then I want to um, I need to find application did finish launching with option which is the very first function here and I need to copy this this uh, code in here parse enable local storage and then initialize parse by uh, setting application ID and client key by the way this application ID and client key are already the ones you need to use um, and optional truck statistics well since it's optional I will comment it out but this application ID and client ID is um, um, is uh, is very important and you need to make sure you set them correct do not edit this data I mean do not edit these values where did it come from you can find it under settings let's go in open it in the new tab if you go to settings and then you go to key these are the keys application keys application id and client key these are the keys that we um, use in here okay and if i build this project now uh, if everything we've integrated correctly a build should not fail okay build succeeded let's continue i will close this tab and scroll down compile and run everything is good so the next one is to test the sdk import parse we've done it already and then copy and paste this code into your application for example in view did load okay and this code is creating uh, a new object and then it sets uh, a value of bar to a uh, key foo and then it saves it in the background so let's just copy this code and I I will um, why don't we test it right here and our application did finish launching with options so we are creating a new object test and save it if I run my application when application starts application did finish launching with options will be one of the very first functions that will uh, execute so um, this code should work and I will put a breakpoint here for you to see okay I'm running it application started and here's the breakpoint okay run it okay I got an output here in my console it says object has been saved very good so it looks like it's working so now let's uh, stop this and go to parse and see if this works run your application actually and it says that we need to click this button test test congratulations you have saved your first object well let's go to core let's go to core this is our data storage and we see test object it's a very first object that was created we called it test object that's correct class name is test and it has only one record here which was just uh, created okay so everything is uh, working well the only thing before we continue let's delete this otherwise every time we start our mobile application this code will be executed and um, yeah we are done here